Hey, happy Friday to you and welcome to the Friday Funnies. Today is December 9th and it marks the birthday of Clarence Birdseye, the man who invented frozen peas. If he were alive today, he'd be 130 years old and would most likely feel at home in most of the country, which currently is colder than his peas. Winter is officially 12 days away, but there's cold and snow from coast to coast. Now, since winter doesn't officially start, you know, until December 21st, we are getting cheesed out of two weeks of autumn. And I hope this evens out in the spring, and spring starts two weeks early, but that's not up to me. That's up to Phil the Groundhog. You know, everybody's got their Christmas decorations up right now, and if you're one of the kind of people that has the inflatables on their lawn, here, here's a tip. It's your responsibility to keep those things inflated 24-7. You know, a lot of homeowners turn off the fans at night when they turn off the lights, and the next morning, it looks like Santa and Frosty and all the reindeer are dead. You know, they're just lying there, hopelessly deflated, looking like colorful victims of a drive-by. So please, if you have a blow-up in your yard, keep it blown up. And those, my friends, are wise words any time of the year. Now, I don't know if the subjects of this week's Friday Funnies belong on Santa's nice list or his naughty list, but I would certainly enroll them on the weird list. Jukus Jarvis, Sweden is the home of the Ice Hotel. Every year since 1990, they would construct a hotel completely out of ice in the winter, and they'd get the ice from the nearby Torn River. Then guests would spend about $1,500 a night to stay in a room where the temperature is 23 degrees. The hotel was open until spring when it melts, and this would happen every year. But this year, Jukas Jarvi is building a permanent ice hotel. The Ice Hotel 365 will be kept cold all year long by a solar-powered refrigerating plant so that you can experience hypothermia in the middle of summer. How special, huh? Now, I don't plan on ever visiting the Ice Hotel. I don't mind the fact that the entire hotel, including all the furniture and everything, is made out of ice. But I just can't bring myself to use an ice toilet. I have my limits. We often ponder the secret to living a long life, and a 112-year-old woman in Nepal may have the answer. But Tuli Lemetchain credits her longevity with the fact that she stays active and she smokes cigarettes. In fact, Batuli has been smoking a pack and a half a day for the last 95 years. Holy smokes. Too bad we don't have TV commercials for cigarettes anymore because this woman would make one heck of a spokesperson and possibly the next Marlboro Man. Nordstrom is a, an upscale department store with a loyal clientele, including people who will buy anything. This year, just in time for last-minute shopping for the gullible, Nordstrom came up with a product they call, and I quote, medium leather-wrapped stone. It's a rock in a leather pouch, and it costs $85. But wait, that, that's not all. On the Nordstrom website, the rock is sold out. So apparently Barnum was right. There is a sucker born every minute, and they've got more money than brains. After hearing about this, President-elect Donald Trump tweeted, a rock in a sack, and people thought my hats were stupid. Make America rock again. Hey, that's it for another week, my friends. Go out and do your holiday reveling, and I will see you back here next Friday. <laughs>